I am Jeff Weber. I'm an industrial designer and uh, focused on human-centered design. And I'm a co-creator of the uh, Comfort Air Chair. The Comfort Air ch Chair is, uh, is designed to respond to the human body uh, in a natural way. The Comfort Air Chair development uh, required a significant amount of time. And the reason why, why it, it required uh, years versus months to develop is due to the challenging uh, problem we attempted to solve, which relates, to, again, to supporting the human in space and moving that per, the human through space. Immediately, in reference to sitting into the comfort air chair, you'll notice that it has an, a, an initial sort of motion that centers your balance point. So you're able to s sort of statically balance in a position Secondly, within the framework of that balance point, there's an ability to rock in the chair and then seamlessly transition from a rocking motion into a reclined position. In terms of motion, the, the aspect of motion is critical in that motion is the key to good health. And we live in a sedentary society, and so sit, sitting statically we know is unhealthy. But sitting in a, a chair that provides movement uh, is inherently healthier. The rocking phase uh, produces a benefit in that rocking has a health and mental uh, effect on our health. The ability to recline in a chair unloads your lumbar spine significantly, enables it to rehydrate slightly, and inherently it's more comfortable, and you may even be able to take a nap. Comfort Air Chair is instilled with a sensation of fluidity, or floating in, in air. In essence, the, the objective is to produce this incredibly delightful experience. It's inherently good for those people that sit for long, extended periods of time for whatever reason. Maybe they be, maybe it's a young kid gaming, for instance. Maybe it's uh, an aging, uh, a member of our aging population who, uh, you know, has some physical ailments. Um, but inherently, the, the, no matter who sits in, it's going to benefit from the chair. Is there another chair like this in the market? Uh, from my perspective, I have not witnessed a chair like this. Um, and you really need to commend American Leather for pursuing this project and this, and the, de and the development of this product uh, uh, because it is inherently involved and involved from a time perspective, an investment perspective, and, an, and uh, a people perspective. And, um, and I believe that is the reason why you don't see a chair like this is because no other organization is willing to make that investment.